Hey, how you doing? It's Jerry with Wide Open Camera here at NAB 2013. I got Tab and Vincent LaFerre with a brand new thing. How do you pronounce this, man? Movie. Movie. Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you tell us about it and just break it down for us? Yeah, so it's just the ultra lightweight digital three axis stabilized gimbal. Uh, it's kind of drawing on similar technology that's uh, been used in helicopters and that kind of thing for a long time. We've kind of reworked it, reinvented it, refined it, and reimagined what it can be put it on a human to move around rather than a camera car or a helicopter, that kind of thing. A human, RC car, a horse. Can we fire this bad boy up? It's, it's going, it's live. Oh there wow, go. it's quiet. It yeah. really yeah, is no, quiet. It's, it's silent. Hey Vince, can you, can you give us a little demo? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, the best thing to explain this is it's got two modes. The mode that Tab's operating right now is called Majestic or Solo mode. So if Tab wants to go to pan left, it knows that his movement is actually coordinated to make that pan. You can adjust that speed. So if you want to do whip pans, you can go in the software, and you can do that. If you want nice and smooth, which is what it is right now, you can walk around this entire hallway by yourself. And that's, that's what we all kind of want is to pick up the camera and go, right? And then, if you want to make it a little more complex, you add a, uh, a second operator with joysticks. So all those hours you've wasted on flight simulators and video games are certainly going to pay off. <laughs> and uh, you're going to become like this bona fide awesome operator. And you can do some pretty sick moves that really, you know, Steadicams are fan one of the most fantastic tools ever invented in cinema, but they have certain limitations of height. You know, you have high mode or low mode. This thing has all of those modes in one continuous shot. And at the end of it, you can hand it to me and I can go. And the transfer could be literally almost indistinguishable. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. If you, now, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say in one of the, the behind the scenes videos, we got a shot where we attach it to a remote control helicopter after doing a, you know, a handheld type shot and it flies away up to 500 feet. Okay. Lower it down on a rope and run off with it. Now, some people may see the short film that, that we shot together called Movie. And uh, what the goal of that, sh that short was to show off complex moves. Or at least as complex as we can come up, never having a shot with this before. Um, that being said, you can't miss the fact that if you want to do a locked off shot on you, so go ahead and hold it, and it's, it's, it is blocked off. It's not going anywhere once you lock that off. You want to do a slide? Go ahead and do a quick little slide. You want to do a slide with a parallax move? You get the idea? So we all know how it takes us five, ten minutes to put two sticks down, level it off, put a head on, and make the move and practice it. Here, slide. Uh, how about this one? Slide. How about a boom up and slide? You get the idea. It's so liberating as a filmmaker because how often have we said, you know, why aren't we shooting? And the reality is our crew needs a certain amount of time, they need to be safe, they need to get done right. The problem is when you set that track down on the dolly, it is set. And you realize, oh man, I really wish I'd put... Just because six inches, man, just six the, inches. The six inches is going to be so perfect, but when you count the money to, to readjust, it's going to be 30, 30 minutes, sir, and you, you actually build that out to where it's going to be, that's a very expensive 30 minutes. And you might not get your other shot that you really loved. Whereas this kind of takes that out of the, out of the factor. Now, the really cool thing for me and for Tab <laughs> is that I think that we, filmmaking is about collaboration. Okay, it's about working with great operators and as a DP or director, you know, letting them do their job and communicating and learning those skills of communication. Not everyone has those skills. But the truth is, we all kind of want to have control. You know, I can't control a steady cam. I've been trained on it. After five minutes, I realize it's a seriously different physical regime to do that for a living. Okay. <laughs> That's why I hire experienced steady cam operators. Physical regime is the yeah, word to remember like, there. Not me, okay? Now, that, that ABC News guy, the ABC uh, foot, Monday Night Football, who's the big guy, who always does, I don't know how he does it, man. But anyways, the point is, if I want to make that little fine-tuned move, you know, it, it, it's, you know how steady cam moves can be like 90% there? You're like, oh, this is it. And, you know, think about just being able to make little, it, it, it's not only that, it's if, let's say the steady cam operator nails exactly what you imagined. So you saw something different happening, like a bird flew out, or a shaft of light came in that you could never predict, and you're just sitting there at the, mount, the monitor powerless, and now you can just go, boom. We haven't been able to get the remote controller back from him yet. We're no. still missing one. It's, you know... What about reliability on this bad boy? There is a lot of stuff going on here. There are a lot of moving parts. So look up here. This is born of that. These things tend to have no tolerance for mistakes or problems. When they screw up, they can kill somebody you know, or really hurt somebody. But the point is they'll kill the camera. If an epic falls out of the sky, it's not gonna be a nice scene. So these guys have been doing this for you know, quite a few years, making some of the most reliable helicopters with technology, with interference and everything. This really, it's a zero uh, error game. So you can pretty, be pretty freaking confident that this is gonna be in a handheld mode close to rock solid as you can get. 
cool. We know about pricing. What about availability? Q3. Yeah. What does that mean, dude? Uh, third quarter. Third quarter. <laughs> fall. Uh, the fall. All right, cool. The so fall. we should be able to get it in the fall 2013. For those of you, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, that the aren't fall. accountants. When All right, the leaves, cool. Leaves turn brown. All right, thank you, Vincent and Pat.